Hello, everybody, and welcome to our story time. Today, I'm going to read you a tale from Africa, written by an Australian doctor who worked in a hospital in Tanzania. His name was Paul White, and they called him the Jungle Doctor. Once upon a time, when I was a young man, there were two monkeys, one called Toto, and his twin brother was called Coco. And like most boys, they were nearly always hungry. They would eat nuts and berries, fruits and beetles, hairy caterpillars and scorpions. Yum, yum. But their special favourite was eggs. One day, in a very odd-looking tree, they saw an old nest. Ah, smiled Toto, where you find nests, you find eggs, giggled Koto. As Toto climbed the tree, looked into the nest and came back carrying a rather grubby egg. He threw it to Koto, who grasped it but missed. The egg crashed and broke. Then out came gooey, greenish stuff and a horrible stink. The monkeys ran off, holded their noses. A hippo, a giraffe and an antelope all watched from a distance. How does a good egg become bad? asked the hippo. Just leave it, it'll become bad by itself, said the giraffe. Uh, well, how does a bad egg become good? That doesn't happen, said the antelope. A little while later, the monkey's uncle, Ayani, was walking down the path to the river, holding an egg. He licked his lips. He made a small hole in the egg, put it in his mouth and sucked. His cheeks hollowed and his eyes stood out as he sucked. The young monkeys watched him with envy. He sighed, ah, and said, eggs are a comfort and a joy to a monkey's stomach. Yum, yum. Uh, that is, some eggs are. Toto and Coco nodded, then asked, but how can you tell which eggs are good and which are bad, O oh wise uncle? Uncle Naomi bent down, picked up another egg between his fingers and thumb. Some look at an egg and hold it between their eye and the sun. But the sharpest eye may be mistaken, he warned. Some listen and are usually inaccurate. Believe it or not, those with smaller monkey wisdom crack the shell and sniff. Oh. Toto and Coco shook their heads and said, so how does a monkey of experience like you tell the difference? Uncle Nayani replied, the wise monkey goes down to the river and drops it into a shallow pool of water. If the egg sinks to the bottom, this is the egg with a good inside. But hear this and remember, eggs that float to the top. For eggs of that sort, grip your nose with one hand and with the other, throw them away. The giraffe, the hippo and the antelope all watched and listened carefully from a distance. There was wisdom in those words, said the giraffe. Oh yes, agreed hippo, but I'm disappointed that you can't make a bad egg into a good one. Or can you? You see, the monkey twins needed a way to know what was inside the eggs. 
God doesn't need a way to know what's inside us. He knows what we're thinking, good or bad thoughts. He knows already nothing can be hidden from him. When we invite Jesus into our hearts to be our saviour, he comes in and helps us to think good, kind and happy thoughts. He can even turn bad hearts into good ones if we open them to Jesus. And Jesus said, listen, I am standing at the door knocking. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to you and eat with you and you with me. Thank you for listening. I'll see you again next week. Bye. Thank you.